Today we are sending greetings from the entrance area of PTV to the metrology world and especially to GSA in Ghana. The sculpture of the Guardian Group that you can see here symbolizes the diversity of the task of a national metrology institute through its different materials and colors. At the same time, the openness on the top of the sculpture is a reference to the freedom of thoughts, while the eyes are symbolizing the guardian's function of the institution. A powerful picture that we are happy to send to Accra. In this spirit, we wish GSA a continued success story. We are very much looking forward to the kickoff on Wednesday and the ongoing partnership between our two institutions. Hello, my name is Trigne Bedrado, Head Scientific Meteorology, Ghana Standards Authority. I'm excited about this year's World Meteorology Day celebration, Measurement for Health, because Ghana Standards Authority, as part of the celebration, is having a kickoff workshop for the project Establishment for a Fit for Future National Meteorology Institute in Ghana, sponsored by the German government through PTB. The aim is to upgrade our calibration laboratories to attain the NMI status to gradually enable traceability in Ghana for the African region as demand increases in industry, trade, and customer protection. I'm especially inviting you to join us on all our social media handles on 19th May at 1500 to 1630 GMT to make the day a remarkable and a memorable one. See you. Do you remember this? What of this? And this? Did you know that road accidents claimed an average of 2,076 lives in 2017 alone? Do you also know that a dozen or more lives were lost from collapsed buildings in the same year? So how sure are you that roads you're driving on and the building you're sitting in at this moment is safe? Well, the solution is to test, inspect and test some more. The Ghana Standards Authority, in collaboration with Systems Advanced Laboratories, has ultra-modern facilities and equipment to provide quality tests and safety inspections for all your infrastructure projects, from soil, iron, concrete, to fire and electrical safety. We ensure that buildings and roads are built to the best standards of quality. Are you a project financier? Insist on a GSA quality test and safety inspections contract before dispersing funds. If you are a real estate developer, insist on a GSA quality test and safety inspections contract from your contractor. If you are a contractor, you too must insist on a GSA quality test and safety mark from your material supplier. If you are a road user, a home buyer, or just seeking to rent an office space, you too must insist on the GSA quality and safety mark. For more information, call the numbers 054-912-0286 or 020-199-6882. Or you can also visit the Quality Assurance and Safety Office of the Ghana Standards Authority for further details. An accident today takes loved ones and property away forever. For your GSA mark of quality and safety, get your infrastructure tested today. Hello, greetings from Accra, Ghana, more particularly from the Ghana Standards Authority. We are the country's national metrology body, and we have been collaborating with our partners in Germany, the PTB, over the years. This year, on the 19th of May, we are going to launch yet another project that we would be embarking on in partnership with the PTB. And that project is the Fit for Future GHNMI project. This project is aimed at enhancing the GSA's capacity to be able to deliver high-end metrology services to industry. In this age where we are talking about continental free trade, it is important that all of this is hinged on the backbone of a solid quality inf infrastructure. And that is exactly what this project is going to help us do. On the 19th of May at the Kempinski Gold Coast Hotel, we will be launching this project. I invite all of you to join us 
via GSA social media pages and PTB social media pages as this event will be streamed live. We welcome you to join us as we embark on yet another exciting journey with the PTB. Thank you. Hi, my name is Carola. I am project coordinator at PTB, the National Metrology Institute of Germany. Hello, my name is Lisa and I'm project assistant here at PTB. Since 2005, we have been working together with Ghana Standard Authority in the framework of German Development Cooperation and are just approaching a real highlight of this cooperation. We have started a new project in 2020 to coach GSA into the International First League of Metrology. On 19th of May, our kickoff workshop will take place in Accra with many high ranking guests who stay tuned. You can all join us online. We are looking forward to your participation. More information will follow. We, Lisa and I, as well as our partners in Ghana are looking forward to this event. See you soon. Great ideas and inventions are improving products and services each day. These innovative products affect every aspect of our lives. So how do we ensure that these products are safe to use? This is the purpose of the Ghana Standards Authority. The Ghana Standards Authority is a national statutory body responsible for the management of the nation's quality infrastructure embracing metrology, standards, testing, inspection and certification. The Standards Directorate ensures the development and promotion of standards. The Certification Directorate issues two major forms of certification. Management System Certification Scheme is issued to organizations that meet the standards. With several products on the market, always look out for products with the GSA's mark of conformity. The Metrology Directorate, under the Weights and Measures Decree 1975, NRCD 326, the authority offers calibration and verification services to individuals and organizations. This symbol indicates that the fuel station has passed calibration tests and customers can be sure of the quantities of fuel they buy. The inspection directorate carries out product inspection, import inspection, market surveillance, fish inspection, inspection of goods for export certification. To see to it that substandard products are dealt with the GSA provides training to assist organizations to be competitive. You know, standards promote all the good stuff. With offices across the country, the GSA ensures that consumers, producers and importers are protected. Let's keep up high standards. metrology world and especially to GSA in Ghana. The sculpture of the Guardian group that you can see here symbolizes the diversity of the tasks of a national metrology institute through its different materials and colors. At the same time, the openness on the top of the sculpture is a reference to the freedom of thoughts, while the eyes are symbolizing the Guardian's function of the institution. A powerful picture that we are happy to send to Accra. In this spirit, we wish GSA a continued success story. We are very much looking forward to the kickoff on Wednesday and the ongoing partnership between our two institutions. Hello, my name is Trigne Bedrado, Head Scientific Metrology Ghana Standards Authority. I'm excited about this year's World Metrology Day celebration measurement for health. 
because Ghana Standards Authority, as part of the celebration, is having a kickoff workshop for the project Establishment for a Fit for Future National Metrology Institute in Ghana, sponsored by the German government through PTB. The aim is to upgrade our calibration laboratories to attain the NMI status to gradually enable traceability in Ghana for the African region as demand increase in industry, trade, and customer protection. I'm especially inviting you to join us on all our social media handles on 19th May at 1500 to 1630 GMT to make the day a remarkable and a memorable one. See you. Do you remember this? What of this? Good afternoon, distinguished guests, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the project kickoff meeting for the World Metrology Day celebration and also the establishment of the Fit for Future National Metrology Institute here in Ghana. This, product, this program is brought to you under the auspices of the Ghana Standards Authority, an agency under the Ministry of Trade and Industry and PTB. We'll tell you what PTB stands for later when we get our German right. My name is Ben Aravle. I'm the MC for the program. We've been told that you can't manage what you can't measure. And we can add that you can't manage effectively what you can't measure accurately. So this program is going to be the start of a series of activities to make Ghana more clinical in various kinds of measurement. I want to welcome our guests on social media, watching us on the Facebook page of both the Ghana Standards Authority and PTB. Those watching on Facebook want to know that they are actual human beings here. So I want you to put your hands together for yourselves as we welcome one another to this program. Thank you for joining us online, both from Ghana and Germany. I would like to now yield to the Director General of the GSA, Professor Alex Dodu, to bring us the welcome address. Kindly welcome with a round of applause. Do I need my mask according to the program, to the director? <laughs> I'm socially distant here. Eh? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, um, program's director. Your Excellency, the German Ambassador to Ghana, Dr. Chris, Christoph Rezalf, the Honorable Minister for Trade and Industry, Honorable Alan Kwajo Chamantin, uh, the minister for whom all of us at GSA reports to, distinguished, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. This meeting actually is being held as a hybrid meet meeting in the sense that majority of the participants are online listening to us on the various social media platforms, as has been mentioned. I would like on behalf of the management of the Standards Authority, as well as the Minister of Trade and Industry and his team, to welcome you to this very important meeting. I'm even happier that this is happening on a very historic day. 
on the eve of World Metrology Day, which falls on 20th May each year. Finally, I'm most delighted that we started on time in line with metrology, and I believe that we will aim to finish on time or even ahead of time. Excellencies, Honorable Minister, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the government of Ghana has an agenda of a rapid industrialization in order to add value to our raw materials and also create jobs. We don't have the full estimates, but we know that at least 300,000 young people enter the job market each year looking for jobs. Some put this figure as high as 500,000 and beyond. As a standards authority at the Ministry of Trade and Industry, every morning we hear the clarion call that jobs, jobs, and jobs. We exist to support government's agenda in industrialization in order to create jobs. So to create jobs, we must industrialize. To industrialize, we must modernize. And a key part of modernization and industrialization is metrology and its various sub-disciplines, including mensuration or mathematical measurement science. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ghana Standards Authority over the years has built capacity in metrology, and we belong to sub-regional, as in ECOWAS, that's ECOMET, and African organizations involved in metrology. And we are also observer members with international measurement organizations. Permit me, before I land once again on metrology and in introduce you to other things we are doing, to measure the fact that GSA is probably the only state institution with over 16 accredited entities, made up, made up as follows. We have five testing laboratories internationally accredited, five. Six calibration laboratories internationally accredited. One inspection body internationally accredited. Two certification bodies internationally accredited and one training body. Nearly all our accredited entities were accredited by the German Accreditation Service due to our long relationship with PTB, the German Metrology Institute. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'm mentioning this to let you know what pertains in Ghana and how we can all take advantage. Because for instance, in the Biochemical Science Directorate, we do have a microbiology lab, a food and drinks lab, metallic contaminants laboratory, histamine and myco mycotoxins laboratory, and pesticides residue laboratory. All these laboratories are accredited to ISO stroke IEC 17025-2017. For the inspectorate division, we have fish inspection body accredited to ISO IEC 17020 2012, which is for conformity assessment requirements of the operations of the various types of bodies conducting inspection. Under certification, both our systems and product certification departments are accredited to ISO 17065 2012, and our training body is actually accredited to the Chartered Quality Institute's International Register of Certified Auditors. Finally, in our metrology laboratory, the pressure laboratory, the mass laboratory, the balance laboratory, the volume laboratory, the temperature laboratory, and the humidity laboratory are all accredited to ISO IEC 17025, general requirements, for the competence of testing and calibration laboratories. Honorable Minister for Trade and Industry, Your Excellency German Ambassador to Ghana, in supporting GSA in our quality infrastructure work over the years, in co coordination with the German government, offered up to 2 million euros to support us in building a national metrology institute, which will be world class. The NMI will respond to the needs of the Ghanaian people as well as the requirements of Ghanaian industry. This project foresees upgrade in our legal framework to bring it in line with modern trends, as well as the development of services 
that industry wants as well as services and activities that protect consumers. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of my parent ministry, my minister, His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, we welcome you to this meeting. Thank you. And gentlemen, the German government is supporting us, the Standards Authority, to set up this National Metrology Institute through an organization called Physikalisch Technisch Bundesanstalt, correct, for 20 points, PTB, and they are assisting us. We are very privileged to have the president of PTB joining us live via video link Professor Joachim Ulrich. Prof, good afternoon from Ghana. We'll hear from you now. Thank you very much. I hope you can all hear me.
All these standards are based on metrology. Likewise, legal metrology is essential for effective consumer protection with a mandatory verification of measuring instruments. Finally, certification is underpinning is the underpinning metrology is essential for the health sector as well as for environmental protection and fraud detection. Recently, as you all know, digitalization is becoming a very effective tool to establish a link between metrology services and manufacturers, as well as between manufacturers and the global online market. Online access to product standards and good manufacturing practice guidelines will help even small manufacturers and family businesses. Local industry can benefit from the remote calibration of measurement devices and online access to testing and certification. Thus, Ghana's industry will be able to sell their products in online markets with certi certified competitive products and consumer uh, co customers worldwide that can trust the quality of the product. Possible future projects on digitalization in metrology and QI can build upon very good experiences of a long and fruitful collaboration between GSA and PDP. Since 2005, PDP's technical cooperation has been working bilaterally with the Ghana Standards Authority, at that time still called Standards Board. Previous experiments with, uh, experience with GSA within the framework of a best African regional project for the development of metrology encouraged us to undertake the next steps. At the beginning, three metrology laboratories were successfully supported for accreditation by DACs. The project came at the right time to satisfy the demand of Ghana. Subsequently, the follow-up project was integrated into the country focus on agriculture of Germany's Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development, called BMC. In this context, GSA and FRI testing laboratories we are now supported by PDP to achieve accreditation for the heavy metal and aflatoxin testing laboratories. This was needed at that time as Ghana's products were repeatedly threatened with import bans into the EU to, uh, due to exceeding uh, limits, limit values. The next step was to broaden the perspective and look at the entire supply, supply chain through the value chain approach from the farm to the fork, important discussions uh, were held from the producer, for instance, mango and cashew farmers, to ministries and the customer. Metrology laboratories in Ghana continued to be supported by PDB during this period. GSA and the metrology expertise it had built up with the support of PDB to calibrate for customers in neighboring countries also provided services and such, uh, such as consultancy and training for other metrology institutes, which is very much appreciated by us. In 2020, the BMC priority area of agriculture was transferred actually to the topic of sustainable economic development, in which we are able to meet GSA's wish for more intensive support of the metrology department to achieve higher calibration standards. Senior staff of GSI and Metrology Department also played an important role in the creation and further development of the Pan-African Network, AFRIMETS, and the regional network, ECOMET. Top management regularly attend the CIPN meetings in Paris, and I think I have met some of you in the past, and my directors and member state representatives in Paris and staff members participate in international technical conferences and comparative measurements. GSA, uh, GSA has the best developed metrology laboratory in West Africa and has ambitious plans for the future. It is planned that selected laboratories will prove their competence in international key comparisons. And the best employees will be seconded to internationally advanced metrology institutes to gain further experience. 
This will enable them to provide internationally recognized metrology services to the region in West Africa and thus to contribute to Ghana's social and economic development. GSA is on a very good way to establish itself as a modern NMI, National Metrology Institute. And the cooperation on this is very, very professional from our side. We like it very much. It is really a pleasure to work with you, together with you. We wish GSA all the best for the future. And we will certainly gladly support you on your way in the future with PDP experience. Thank you very much for your attention. Professor Dr. Joachim Ulrich, danke schön. Danke schön. Thank you so much. Put your hands together one more time for him. This is the launch of the Ghana NMI project coming to you live from Accra. We are live on the Facebook page of the Ghana Standards Authority, as well as the Facebook page of the organization headed by the man who just spoke, PTB. We now want to get more insight into the summary and objectives of the Ghana NMI project. And to take us through that briefly, we are privileged to have the head of section, Sub-Saharan Africa International Cooperation. She's also joining us via video link in the presence of Dr. Barbara Zygmunt. Doc, good afternoon from Ghana. Good, good afternoon, afternoon from Germany. Germany. Your Excellency, the Ambassador of the Republic of Germany, Mr. Christoph Retzlaff, Distinguished Director General of GSA, Professor Alex Dodu, Distinguished Directors of MUTI and representatives from other ministries, dear colleagues from the Metrology Department of GSA, ladies and gentlemen, I could hardly be more socially distanced from you than I am right now. Well, maybe if I move my home office to the moon or something like that. But I'm happy that I'm at least able to be with you at this in, uh, important day, at least virtually. And I do have faith that things are getting better and we will soon be able to travel again and uh, visit our friends in Ghana uh, again in person. A PTB International Corporation has now been working in bilateral cooperation with the Ghana Standards Authority, GSA, from the known as the Ghana Standards Board, for 16 years now. And we have already heard from PTB President Mr. Ulrich how GSA and the corporation have developed and changed over the years. Now we are at the start of a new phase of cooperation with a new project. And this project will be about cooperation between to Metrology Institute. In this way, we as PDB are underlining our commitment to one of our legally defined tasks, the promotion of uniformity in international metrology. The previous projects were also connected with the establishment of calibration lab laboratories, but in a broader field of general quality infrastructure um, establishment for agricultural products. And the new project is a kind of a training between specialized institutions and aims to increase GSA's involvement in the Premier League of Global Metrology. In June 2019, a high-level management delegation from GSA came to PTB in Germany for a visit to readjust the further cooperation. And during this week, a concept for cooperation was drawn up, which was approved by the Federal Ministry of Economic Cooperation and Development of Germany, the BMZ, and followed by a fact-finding mis mission to Ghana with our head of department in January 2020. And he was impressed by the ambitions of the management, the technical competence, as evidenced by numerous international accreditations, and the good equipment of the laboratories. Ghana, indeed, is a hub of metrology on the African continent and high quality calibration services are already provided here for neighboring countries. After the assessment, the new project was commissioned very quickly by the BMZ, which is funding the project as part of the German Development Corporation. The aim of the new project is to further develop metrology to meet increasing demands in Ghana and the region. This applies to consumer protection, as well as healthcare, environmental protection and new industrial sectors. 
In the near future, a needs assessment will be carried out in Ghana and the ECOWAS region to detect the greatest demands and measurements the project will first of all focus on. On this basis, new measuring instruments will be specified by GSA with the support of PTB experts and then will, will be procured. Parallel to this, initial training courses are also being planned at various levels. These take place on site at GSA or abroad. The entire metrology team will be permanently coached and trained by experienced metrologists. However, the core will be long-term secondments to NMIs, PTB and other leading institutes in Africa and Europe to build up special competence in the most important metrological parameters. Furthermore, participation in international intercomparisons up to the preparation of key comparisons of the BIPM is planned. Another important element is the representation of GSA staff at international conferences and technical committees. One GSA staff man member from Metrology Division has already qualified for a multi-year doctoral scholarship from the Technical University and PTB in Braunschweig. Long-term sustainability of the project is secured through the development of various businesses, business models and the establishment of a forum in which all stakeholders are represented to provide strategic advice on the further development of metrology in line with the demand. GSA has been substantially involved in supporting the AFRIMED development, as already been mentioned before, also by supporting the committees by providing human resources for positions of responsibility. And the same applies for the formal establishment of ECOMED and the institutional support of less developed countries in the region through consultancy and training. With the Secretariat of the African Free Trade Area, the AFCFTA, in Accra, an institution is being established that fits perfectly with GSA's ambitions. Continental free trade will strengthen Africa's competitiveness on the world market, also by reducing non-tariff trade barriers. Cooperation already exists with the NMIs in Kenya, Egypt and South Africa, and new cooperation with other NMIs will be consolidated in the course of the project. In addition, there are already numerous professional contexts that have emerged from joint conferences and international trainings. In particular, the recent challenges opposed by the corona pandemic to digital networking have once again opened up new options for cooperation. At least something good coming out of this pandemic. Beyond all these advances, a very reliable professional cooperation between GSA and PTB has developed over the years. It is a pleasure for us to work with colleagues who are so ambitious in implementing the Ghana Beyond Aid strategy in their field of work, and many of these contracts have become friend real relationships. We hope that we can continue to accompany GSA's path professionally in the future. May this project be the start of GSA reaching an even higher level of meteorological excellence. I wish to all of us a very successful kickoff workshop, and thank you so much for your attention. And thank you so much, Dr. Zygmunt, for making it so exciting. She's the head of section Sub-Saharan Africa International Corporation, PTB. This is her project. We want to say hello again to our 70 participants who have joined us on Microsoft Teams. I know most of your cameras are off, but if you can put your camera on and give us a wave, we'll be very, very happy. So those of you in here, just give them a round of applause. We have about 70 people watching from all over the world on Teams. About 30 people on YouTube, another 15 to 20 on Facebook. The numbers keep growing. Thank you for joining us. This is the Ghana launch of our NMI project. We want to now bring up for some quick comments and speeches the head of delegation of the German Industry and Commerce, known as AHK, Mr. Burkhardt Hellemann. Please welcome me with a round of applause. Honorable Minister for Trade and Industry, Your Excellency, the German Ambassador to Ghana, Director General of the Ghana Standard Authority, 
Professor Joachim Ulrich, President of PTB, Physikalisch-Technische Bundesanstalt, Representatives of the Media, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen. On behalf of the, German, of the Delegation of German Industry and Commerce here in Ghana, I would like to express my gratitude to have been invited to this important event concerning the establishment of a Fit for Future National Metrology Institute in Ghana. And I would like to congratulate the Ghana Standard Authority and the Physikalisch-Technische Bundesanstalt for this welcomed initiative. Representing German companies in Ghana and enhancing trade between Ghana and Germany, the delegation welcomes very much the future cooperation between GSA. While it is not the future one, we have already learned that this cooperation has been established years ago. But this new project, as metro metrology is the cornerstone, let me call it like that, for any exchange of products and services worldwide, by the way, as well in Germany internally. Often taken for granted by us, by the consumers, by enterprises, it forms the starting point for doing business exact, uh, effectively. Moreover, it guarantees that um, certain level of quality is provided on the market in favor of companies doing business but as well for us as consumers and citizens. I would also like to highlight the chances that we see in this institute when it comes, as it, was, as it has already been mentioned, to the African continental free trade area. Ghana is not only the lighthouse of democracy in sub-Saharan Africa, Ghana can play a very important role hosting the most important secretariat of this trade area zone in Africa and Germany. The German delegation is very much committed to that. Let me come to an end. In my discussions with PTB and as well with the Ghana Standard Authority, I was able to see and discover the heartwarming and professional cooperation between GSA and PTB. Good human relationships, relationships, this is at least my experience after five years in Ghana, are the basis for a constructive and impactful cooperation between two cool countries from different continents. The long relationship between GSA and PTB can be felt in the exchange of the stakeholders from Germany and Ghana. And this is good for German business, too. Let me close with a short address, with a short commitment from the delegation, from the German delegation. The delegation of German industry and commerce is willing to play and support, and to play an active role and to support in the implementation of this noble project as well in the future. We have had very good first context and I hope that on behalf of enterprises, of customers, of citizens, of consumers, we are able to move this project forward. Thank you very much for your invita invitation. Thank you, much. Thank you very much for listening to me. All the best. Thank you very much. That was Mr. Christoph Retzlaff, actually no, Mr. Burkhard Hellemann, uh, Head of Delegation, G German Industry and Commerce. Put your hands together one more time. I was about to promote you. I'm sorry for giving you that. Coming up next is a very interesting man. He's an engineer, he's an inventor, he's a novelist, he's an educator and a thought leader. I remember when COVID-19 started in Ghana, I went to his university to interview him. He was leading a team of students to build what he called uh, ventilators, I think the name was, 
for people to breathe during uh, COVID-19. This was around April 2020. Somehow in the interview, we mentioned Professor Dodu, who met with him, and the rest, as they say, is history. It is my pleasure to now call up a consultant for the Ghana Standards Authority, Professor Fred McBagonluri, to bring us some quick thoughts ahead of the launch. Please welcome with a round of applause. Good afternoon. Honorable Minister for Trade and Industries, Ghana Ambassador, uh, German Ambassador to Ghana, uh, members of PTB, it's indeed a pleasure to be here. Um, ben Avle actually discovered me when I first came to Ghana, and he's been a, a great champion of most of the stuff that I, I do here. And I would like to give a shout out to Dr. Dodu, a man who works so tirelessly um, to help move our nation forward. So this afternoon discussion is about the importance of metrology um, to our national development. Um, well, the Greeks figured it out a long time ago that metrology comes from metrons and lagos, um, essentially the study of measurements. Uh, but perhaps the Egyptians figured it out a long time ago on how measurements could help them build the pyramids. In our own environment, uh, we tend to cast our scientific thought in proverbs. So our ancestors used to say, you couldn't measure the depth of a river with both legs. And that is all metrology. So, you know, metrology is critical to everything we do. Uh, ben mentioned earlier that we were working on a ventilator, um, but even with a ventilator, you need to know the flow rate. You need to also figure out when the patient is beginning to breathe so that you don't continue to push air in the opposite direction and end up killing them. Now, Lord Kevin said many years ago that knowledge about anything is incomplete unless it can be expressed in numbers. Similarly, a line is perfect if you don't measure it. So metrology is essential in everything we do, whether you're a patient in a hospital, whether it's a sunny day and you're in your vehicles and your tires are over pump, which we all know happens here quite often. If we could only enforce that, we'll create a lot of jobs. You tell the policeman tells you to pull over and then puts a gauge on your tire, try to figure out if it's 30 or 35 PSI. Uh, we could create a lot of jobs for our graduates. Okay. So, look, metrology, whether it's industrial, whether it's scientific, whether it's legal, all these systems have to come together for us to have, quote unquote, a civilized society. Metrology generates systems and frameworks for qualifications. So whether you are talking about waste reduction, um, and it's quite interesting, you know, I have only 10 minutes, but when I was a young engineer working at the Air Force Institute in Ohio, <coughs> one day I went out and ordered material for a testing system that I was designing. And coming from Ghana, which was metric, into the English system, which was US, I was still thinking in metric. And so when I ordered the material, I ordered the material <laughs> in metric, and then they showed up in English units, and it was not the same. Um, so that tells you the importance of, of metrology. Again, we all heard about a mass rover that got lost in space because somebody sent information to it in the wrong measurements units. So these basic things are what holds um, industry together. It enables infrastructure to function. It advances technology. It protects the environment. We need to know, you know how much uh, chemicals you're releasing into our drainage system so that you're not polluting our waters. And talk about pollution, we've been having that discussion of late. So coming closer home, uh, we talked about ventilators earlier. But just think about patient's weight, your blood pressure, how much oxygen you have in your system. These are all good indicators that are metrology based. Without this, you can't take care of a patient in the hospital or people will die before you even know what to do next. Okay, so I'm gonna move on here quickly to metrology as a, a measure for our industrialization. Uh, 
we've had com com conversations about LPGs. We've had conversation about ensuring that we are metering our electricity properly, automotive fuel, gas, even transmission across our grid. Ensuring accurate measurements of emissions and some of the bigger vehicle companies will tell you the troubles they've got into reporting numbers that were inaccurate. Optimizing energy storage systems, establishing caloric value for our natural gas, ensuring that energy sources are secured, sustainable, and of high quality. These all fall within the purview of metrology. So in conclusion today, the country needs good measurements more than ever to ensure sustainable progress in science and in society. This will allow us for economic growth via agreed quality infrastructure. A joint measurement of infrastructure and quality systems ensures that nations are speaking the same language. Develop through curiosity-driven research that is evidence-based and discovery-based have foundations in metrology. The world needs to realize these benefits now in order to help address the challenges of COVID-19 and to simulate economic recovery and to return to facing global grand challenges such as climate change, clean growth, achieving net zero carbon emissions, and exploiting emerging technologies such as big data, the digital world, artificial intelligence, quantum technologies, industry four, and future communications. Without metrology, we are unable to do any of this. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Professor Fred McBagonluri. Now we know you can't measure the depth of a river with two feet. Fantastic stuff. You didn't tell us which part of Ghana that proverb came from. I'll see you later for the, the filler. I think that was a great speech. Please put your hands together one more time. We now want to hear from the German ambassador to Ghana, His Excellency Mr. Christoph Retzlov. Please welcome him. Thank you very much. So, Honorable Minister for Industry and Trade, Alan Chiamaten, um, the President of the Ghana Standards Authority, Professor Dudu, um, President der Physikalisch-Technischen Bundesanstalt in Braunschweig, and uh, um, Country Director of the German Delegation for um, Commerce and Trade here in Accra. Um, it's indeed a great pleasure to be here with you today for the kick-off uh, meeting um, for the establishment of this uh, National Metrology Institute, which will upgrade the Ghana Standards Authority to a fit for future importance uh, today. And I think it's a safe guess to assume that almost everybody of you knows more about metrology and the Ghana Standard Authority than I do. So I will not try uh, to enlighten you on this topic. Um, uh, I hope you will forgive me if I approach um, the uh, topic from a broader um, uh, angle. And um, what I would like to highlight today is just uh, the fact um, that um, this important launch today is another example um, of the close and ever-growing partnership between uh, Ghana um, and Germany. I had the honor and the pleasure to have a couple of these events over the last years uh, with the Honorable Minister, um, and that shows you um, where our priorities uh, uh, lie here in the cooperation with Ghana. The key words have been mentioned a couple of times already uh, today, economic transformation, modernization, and industrialization. And I'm convinced that these are exactly the key word, that these are exactly the key words when it comes to an even more prosperous and successful future um, for Ghana. Um, we have taken the decision in Germany in our cooperation with Ghana to move more from development cooperation to um, support um, investment and job creation in Ghana because these are the important um, areas, obviously. Um, and after some time as the German ambassador here in Ghana, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to say uh, that uh, we have seen also this partnership bearing uh, fruits. Um, we have good example of our, examples of our cooperation. When I look back only the last two years, 2020, 2021, a couple of exciting projects we were able um, to launch. 
um, we uh, launched uh, the biggest um, private solar power plant uh, in Ghana in the Upper West region. Um, we have launched uh, about uh, 12 months ago um, a state-of-the-art um, uh, waste to energy uh, plant close uh, to Kumasi in the Ashanti um, region. Um, we have more than doubled uh, our cooperation uh, funds uh, with Ghana over the last uh, five years. Um, the uh, opening of a chocolate processing um, uh, company in Suhum um, uh, a couple of months ago, um, a 7 million euro investment um, that uh, uh, created jobs for more than 100 uh, people here. Chocolate production from bean to barn um, value adding here in, in Ghana. I think that is the, the key for success in the, in the future. And of course, I don't have to mention, um, I think, the start of uh, Volkswagen car assembling uh, in this country. All these are examples what we are doing as concrete steps in our, in our um, partnership. Um, our approach fits perfectly with the Ghana Beyond Aid um, approach. I think um, this is important um, uh, to mention. And today's launch, of course, is an, another important um, uh, building block in this cooperation because, as we already heard, um, the metrology um, is an important building block for being competitive uh, in export markets, for having access, uh, access to export markets, for instance, to, Euro to the European Union. Ghana is uh, perfectly situated and as the host of, of the ACFTA Secretariat to play a leading role in the um, single uh, market here on the African continent. That can be a game changer for Ghana and for many other um, African countries here. Um, the initiative um, we are launching today is part of the so-called Invest for Jobs initiative by the German um, government. Um, it is one of many um, important um, uh, cooperation projects here. And it will certainly not be the end of the road. Um, we have a lot of other exciting projects here in the pipeline, also um, involving the PTB and uh, GSA, but also other players here um, in, in Ghana. Honorable Minister, um, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm grateful for being here um, today. Um, I would like to thank you for your attention and I wish all partners involved um, today every success in the implementation of this exciting um, uh, new project. Um, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for that speech. So I have a question for the audience. Which is more important, metrology or meteorology? If you have the answer, we have a prize for you. Metrology or meteorology? If you don't know what meteorology is, then you don't have to be in this room at all. But I was just thinking that, well, you need good metrology to do accurate meteorology because you can't predict the weather or forecast the weather properly without the right measurement. So metrology, or Put your hands together for metrology. <laughs> There's another one I won't talk about. The difference between menstruation and the other one you mentioned. But that one is not good for this place. But it's, you learn something new every day. Thank you, Prof. Dodo, for that one. It's now time to hear from the special guest of honor with the keynote address. Ladies and gentlemen, my privilege to bring up stage the Honorable Minister for Trade and Industry, Alan John Kojo Tremating. Please put your hands together. Thank you very much, uh, Bernard. Uh, with the excellent speeches and remarks that you've heard, I don't think you really need a keynote speech. Uh, and again, when you convene for scientific dialogue, you see all the speakers are professors and doctors. So I'm not sure whether uh, I have exactly the right background, like my colleague lawyer he said, maybe this is not the forum that we should be speaking at. Um, but having said that, um, Excellency, the Ambassador of Germany, the Director General of GSA, and 
your team. Our very distinguished friends um, from PTB, the president and the leadership of PTB, and a very good friend from uh, AHK, uh, the new head of delegation of AHK, and my own colleagues from the Ministry of Trade and Industry, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed a pleasure for me once again to be joining my very good friend, uh, the Ambassador of Germany, to, com to commemorate the official launch of this Fit for Future National Meteorological Institute. This is a very elegant uh, name, Fit for Future National Meteorological uh, Institute. But before I make uh, any further remarks, let me commend the German government for supporting Ghana's agenda for a new Ghana beyond aid. When our president articulated the vision of a Ghana beyond aid, he was not making a declaration that Ghana no longer needs aid. What he's referring to is that what Ghana is looking for is aid that supports Ghana to go beyond aid, which one can describe as catalytic aid. It means the type of aid we require now is the type of aid that reduces, reduces our dependency and over-reliance on aid. And that is why I'm very pleased about the structure and nature and content of the aid and development cooperation uh, between Ghana and Germany now. I think the ambassador referred to a new German cooperation program called Invests in Jobs. Now, this is the type of catalytic aid that Ghana requires to be able to industrialize, create jobs, and get out of the aid pandemic, if I may say so. And under the aid, under the Invest in Jobs program, the Ministry of Trade will be working with the German government institutions and the German government to support our new auto and vehicle assembly uh, industry. There's also support for the development of industrial parks. But it goes beyond the investing jobs program. In fact, be before the investing job program, the government of Germany has been supporting us on our national quality infrastructure program which has a number of components which are absolutely critical for the transformation of our economy. This quality infrastructure program has different components, including the development of a national quality policy. You cannot talk about quality without a policy framework. And the national quality policy has now been finalized and I'm very sure that it's going to be uh, launched uh, very soon. The program also supports the Ghana Standards Authority in the testing of laboratories, and then also on a national accreditation service. And so it is significant that today we are gathered here to launch yet another Ghana Beyond Aid project, which is the establishment of a National Metrology, Metrology Institute. 
I think the importance of metrology has been adequately analyzed by the previous uh, speakers. And we can examine it from different perspectives. The impact that it has on industry, the impact that it has on consumers, the impact that it has on trade, whether it's domestic trade or export trade, and the impact that it has on our scientific community. If for a moment we look at the impact that it will have on industry, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you're all aware that Ghana has embarked on a very aggressive program for industrial transformation for a number of reasons. Professor Dodu alluded to the fact that the number one development challenge that we have in this country is to create jobs. And if you look at the experience of those countries that have achieved significant growth, it is clear, the evidence is clear, that if you industrialize, you create opportunities for, cre for jobs. And that is why we are embarking on this aggressive program for industrialization. But again, it goes beyond the transformation agenda. Right now, we have learned a bitter lesson from the COVID pandemic that with the disruption in global supply chains, every country must enhance their capacity for local production. Because if you have a large appetite for importation, COVID is now signaling to you that there will come a time when the imports will not come. You have to be able to produce your own mass. You have to be able to produce your own sanitizers. Very soon, it may get into even more mundane things. So again, the message from COVID is very clear. That you have to industrialize. You have to have the capacity to produce what you use and eat in your own country. But if this is going to be the path forward, if industrialization is going to be the path forward, then obviously standards must be at the center of it. Because without standards, you cannot talk about industrialization. But interestingly, without metrology, you can also not talk about standards. Even though we don't have a scientific mind, I know that the very foundation of standards is metrology. Because if you cannot measure, how do you even develop standards for any particular product? So we must start taking metrology very seriously in this country. We are losing billions of dollars from, on, from our oil and gas industry because we don't even understand and know and appreciate how much oil and gas we are pumping and, and exporting to other countries. We've been exporting gold for, for, for a century. But you'll be surprised to know that we are not very sure how much gold we are actually exporting out of our country on the basis of which we can measure how much uh, money or revenue uh, we should be getting from that. So if we are talking about economic transformation, then Industrialization is key, but standards is even more critical, and then metrology is even more substantive for us to be able to transform. It's not just about industry, it's about consumers. Yes, you can say, well, industry is not everybody who is producing, it's not everybody who is a manufacturer, but everybody is a consumer. And metrology affects almost everybody through consumption. How is it that you go to a local domestic market, you want to buy 
rice, pepper, sugar, and the, 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 the container or what is used to measure what you are buying can be adjusted without you even knowing what, uh, how much you are buying. I know there's a local name for it, but this is not a platform for me to be talking about that. And it is important that we protect our consumers from fraudulent traders. Even when you take the issue of prescription drugs or simply put any product that you buy from the market, the ingredients that are specified as part of the labeling and the packaging has to indicate the ingredients in the product. Without measurement, it means that anything can happen. And this is all about consumer protection. And beyond protecting consumers, as a, as a country, if we want to produce, we have to be able to trade. And as I think previous speakers have alluded to, if you want to play in the export market, you have to be sure that you respect standards and measurement. Because that is what the international market will be interested in. Now we are talking about after. It is not going to be possible for us and other African countries to harness the benefits of AFTA without standards and without metrology. And it's not just about AFTA. AFTA is great because it is our own. It's a single market for Africa. But there are other market opportunities that are open to us. Next month, we'll start implementing the Ghana EU Economic Partnership Agreement, which means that the whole of the European market is open to Ghana now, duty-free, quota-free. And this is a major opportunity for our manufacturers and producers to be able to export duty-free to Europe. But you know that that's a very dynamic viable market but also very competitive and if you have no respect for measurement if you have no respect for metrology if you have no respect for standards then this is not the place for you to be uh, displaying your uh, pedestrian uh, attitude you know to production and it's not just europe the U.S. market, which is the largest consumer market in the world, there's no evidence of any country in the world that has not benefited from the U.S. consumer market. We have the opportunity to export duty-free, quota-free to the United States market under Agua. There are, we have only four years left up to 2025 before the curtain is drawn on Agua. That is, if there's no extension. We have to be able to take our industrialization program seriously, our standards uh, seriously, our metrology seriously, so that for the last four years of Agua, we can harness some of the benefits uh, of Agua. So whether it is domestic trade, or export trade, metrology, measurement, and not just measurement, accurate measurement. We are not prefixing uh, measurement with accuracy, but basically that is what we mean. Accurate measurement. So for trade, this is very important. And last but not the least, it is also important for the work of our scientific community. My colleagues who have spoken before me have made references to the production of vaccines, which is helping us to deal with the COVID pandemic. 
It's not just the production, but the storage and distribution of vaccines. Without measurement, you cannot have a sustainable production, supply, storage of vaccines. So there, it goes to the heart of maintaining uh, global health uh, in, uh, in these days. Even in our own local circumstances, you go to a, a lab diagnostic for diagnostics. If the, the measurements and the tools that are used are not properly calibrated, in one way, they may tell you you have hypertension. Another lab will tell you that you do not have hypertension. And so, again, the calibration of diagnostic instruments is a major key or factor for maintaining good health. Even for our own herbal preparations, one of the reasons why we've not been able to optimize <coughs> the value of our herbal uh, me medical industry is because standards and measurement is completely uh, ignored in this particular industry. But let's face it, 60 to 70 percent of Ghanaians depend on herbal preparations. And that is why we have to take measurement, metrology standards very seriously if you want to bring herbal medicine at, uh, to the center of our healthcare system. And I could go on and on and on. I just want to conclude on the note that failure to measure is a recipe for disaster. And now that Ghana is charting a new path for transformation, I think there has to be a consensus of mind amongst Ghanaians that it is standards, it is metrology and the accompanying requirements that will show us the way and the path forward. So on that note, it is indeed uh, my profound pleasure to officially inaugurate or commission the start of work planning work for the development of a national metrology institute. I thank you for your attention. Great ideas and inventions are improving products and services each day. These innovative products affect every aspect of our lives. So how do we ensure that these products are safe to use? This is the purpose of the Standards Authority. The Ghana Standards Authority is a national statutory body responsible for the management of the nation's quality infrastructure embracing metrology, standards, testing, inspection and certification. The Standards Directorate ensures the development and promotion of standards. The Certification Directorate issues two major forms of certification. Management System Certification Scheme is issued to organizations that meet the standards. With several products on the market, always look out for products with the GSA's mark of conformity. The Metrology Directorate under the Weights and Measures Decree 1975, NRCD 326, the authority offers calibration and verification services to individuals and organizations. This symbol indicates that the fuel station has passed calibration tests and customers can be sure of the quantities of fuel they buy. The Inspection Directorate carries out product inspection, import inspection, market surveillance, Fish Inspection, Inspection of Goods for Export Certification. To see to it that substandard products are dealt with, 
the GSA provides training to assist organizations to be competitive. You know, standards promote all the good stuff. With offices across the country, the GSA ensures that consumers, producers, and importers are protected. Let's keep up high standards. Thank you very much indeed. And thank you to our minister for that great speech and the excellent endorsement. Please put your hand together one more time for Alan Chermating. And I'm sure the GSA will say we will not disappoint you. There can be no development without standards. Let's now take our vote of thanks from Mr. George Anti. He's the business development manager. He's been part of the project team. And he will bring us some quick thank yous now. Please welcome George with a round of applause. Bernard, thank you for calling me to thank everybody. <laughs> I think we would like to first, and when I say we, I'm speaking on behalf of the project team, that is the joint GSA and PTB project team, we would like to first and foremost thank the Honorable Minister of Trade and Industry, Mr. Alan John Kojo Chairman Ting. Uh, Honorable Minister, we do greatly appreciate the support you have been given to the GSA. We do greatly appreciate your time. We do know that you have an extremely busy schedule. So for you to be here, then it must mean that you place premium quality on issues of trade facilitation and issues of quality infrastructure. We thank you, Mr. Minister. We would also like to thank His Excellency Christoph Retzlav, that is the German ambassador to Ghana. Your Excellency, we thank you for your time and we appreciate the cooperation that has been going on between the Republic of Germany and Ghana over the years. We thank you for what is going to happen in the future uh, under this project. And as usual, we would always ask for more. We would also like to extend our gratitude to Mr. Burkhard Hellman, who is the head of delegation of German industry and commerce in Ghana. Mr. Hellman, we are looking forward to working very closely with you in the future. We would also like to extend our thanks to Professor Fred McBagonluri. Uh, Prof, that was an enlightening uh, exposition that you give us. We thank you. We'd like to thank the Director General of the GSA, Professor Dodu, our Deputy Directors General who are here, uh, the Director of Metrology, in fact, the entire GSA team. Uh, we thank you so much for your time, the time you've dedicated to this uh, project, to making sure that this kickoff happens. So we thank you for that. To our colleagues in PTB, to the President of PTB, Dr. Professor Dr. Joachim Ulrich, to Dr. Barbara Sigmund, and the rest of the PTB team with whom we have been working closely, we say thank you. For us, we know that the journey is now beginning on this project, so we have a lot of work to do. For the guests, to the guests who have joined us, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for your time. We thank you for your participation. And to those who have joined us via social media, uh, we thank you. And for our Francophone friends, pour nos amis francophones, on vous remercie pour votre attention et pour votre participation. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you all. Thank you very much. I didn't know you were bilingual. When it comes to French, you are flowing. Why didn't you say that in German? <laughs> that would have been impressive. <laughs> I'm, I just learned a little German. If you want to say thank you, say Danke schön. So turn to your neighbor and say Danke schön. Danke schön. Danke is thank you. Danke schön means thank you very much. So thank you. This has been a great program. We're so delighted with you. We've left some refreshments for you. We have some in the lobby. We also have a packed lunch for those of you who are interested. 
So please hang around and pick it up on your way. Thank you so much, and let's help Ghana Standards Authority to maintain the right standard. My name is Bernard Avle. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. What of this? And this? Did you know that road accidents claimed an average of 2,076 lives in 2017 alone? Do you also know that a dozen or more lives were lost from collapsed buildings in the same year? So how sure are you that roads you're driving on and the building you're sitting in at this moment is safe? Well, the solution is to test, inspect and test some more. The Ghana Standards Authority, in collaboration with Systems Advanced Laboratories, has ultra-modern facilities and equipment to provide quality tests and safety inspections for all your infrastructure projects, from soil, iron, concrete, to fire and electrical safety. We ensure that buildings and roads are built to the best standards of quality. Are you a project financier? Insist on a GSA quality test and safety inspections contract before dispersing funds. If you're a real estate developer, insist on a GSA quality test and safety inspections contract from your contractor. If you're a contractor, you too must insist on a GSA quality test and safety mark from your material supplier. If you're a road user, a home buyer, or just seeking to rent an office space, you too must insist on the GSA quality and safety mark. For more information, call the numbers 054-912-0286 or 020-199-6882. Or you can also visit the Quality Assurance and Safety Office of the Ghana Standards Authority for further details. An accident today takes loved ones and property away forever. For your GSA mark of quality and safety, get your infrastructure tested today.